In the last video, you got a chance to see how we calculate the concentrations of individual ions in a solution. What we're gonna do in this video is use that same principle, but this time we are actually going to mix solutions together. You see, if you mix two solutions and you end up having no chemical reaction that results, then it actually ends up meaning that you get a dilution because the amount of moles from the original solutions does not change. But the volume has actually increased as you've poured two containers of solution into one. So when we do a calculation that involves the mixing of two substances to find ion concentrations, we actually need to first do a dilution equation. So in order to do this calculation, we're going to take a look at an, at an example. We're going to have 250 milliliters of 0 0.30 molarity potassium sulfate and 250 milliliters of 0 0.80 molarity magnesium chloride no reaction results, what is the concentration of each substance in the final solution, and the concentration of each ion. So in order to do this calculation, here's what we're going to do. You're going to first of all want a lot of paper, because this is going to take a little bit of room. I like to divide my paper in two, so that I work with one substance on one side of that paper. So potassium sulfate is going to be my one substance that I work with on one side. My other substance, the magnesium chloride, I'm going to work with on the other side. Now, in each of these cases, we started with an initial concentration. We started with an initial volume. We then are going to have a second concentration, which we don't know but we are going to have a second volume that we do. The initial concentration for the potassium sulfate was 0 0.30 molarity. The initial volume, 250 milliliters. We don't actually know what the concentration was um, after the mixing. That's what we're going to be calculating here. But we do know the final volume is 500 milliliters. The reason I know that is because this was 250, this was 250. You pour them both in the same container, that's gonna be 500, right? Start with 250, 250, add them together, get your final volume. Now, while we're at it, let's just sort this one out, the magnesium chloride. We're also gonna have an initial concentration, an initial volume, a final concentration that we don't know yet, and a final volume that's also 500 milliliters because it's all in the same container. The initial volume here was also 250, and the initial concentration was 0 0.80 molarity. So here's what we wanna do. We wanna do our dilution equation, M1V1 equals M2V2, and I'm gonna rearrange it to solve for M2. That means M1 multiplied by V1 divided by V2. So my final concentration here is going to be 0 0.30 molarity multiplied by 250 milliliters divided by 500 milliliters. And my concentration after mixing ends up being 0 0.15 molarity. So what that actually means is for the K2SO4, the concentration of it is 0 0.15 molarity. But keep in mind, this would have been dissolved, and so we have to apply our coefficients to find out the concentrations of each ion. So the concentration of sulfate would be the same, 0 0.15 molarity, because of the one to one ratio. The concentration of potassium ions would be 0 0.30 because there is twice as many as there is for each potassium sulfate. So, my concentration of potassium ions is 0.30 molarity. 
by potassium and sulfate ions is 0.15 molarity. So we've done that for one substance. Let's do it for the other. We're going to calculate the final concentration after mixing using the dilution equation. We're going to plug in our values. So M1 is 0 0.80 molarity. Initial volume, 250. Final volume, 500. That gives you a final concentration of 0 0.40 molarity. Keeping in mind, this had to dissolve. It's the concentration of the substance, 0 0.40 molarity. But we're going to have a one-to-one -one ratio with magnesium and a two-to-one ratio with the chloride. So it means we have 0 0.40 molarity chlorine, 0 0.80 molarity uh, or sorry, 0 0.40 molarity magnesium, 0 0.80 molarity chlorine. So when it comes to doing these types of problems, if you end up mixing without a reaction, sort out your substances and your M1, V1, M2, V2. Figure out what it is you need to solve, which is going to be your concentration after mixing. Solve it. Look at the ratios within your dissociation equation for each substance. Calculate the concentrations of each ion. I should mention, if you were to say have two of the same ion, you would actually add those two together. So let's pretend this was like Cl minus instead of SO4. You would add those two together. But this is how we go about solving the concentrations of ions after mixing two solutions with no reaction. Thanks for watching.